October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. About 1 in 8 US women will develop invasive breast cancer over the course of her lifetime. We're going to find out from, from the people them why was it important for there to be here today at this breast cancer walk, alright? I'm a survivor and I refuse to let cancer get me down and kill me. I'm killing it. My name is Storm Francis. I am from Brooklyn, New York. This is my second year supporting Cheryl Warriors. And I have a cousin, Kay Adams, who is survivors from breast cancer. So this is my second year supporting, and that is why I'm here. I've lost so many friends and family to breast cancer and cancer. And um, it's something that we need people to know about and we need to raise funds because the fight for cancer is still way behind. We need to do so much more. First of all, I want to give thanks to God. I'm from Grenada, my name is Hannah. And the reason why I'm walking, I'm walking for the queue. Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm from Jamaica and it was important for me to do the cancer walk because my grandmother had cancer and it's just a good cause all around. So I'm glad to do this walk every year. Yeah, my name is Kwesi and I'm from Guyana and I'm here for a good cause. Save the boobs. I'll be supporting cancer walk because I lost my father from cancer, I lost my grandmother. So we are support the people and we support the cancer guys a good cause. I'm a survivor. Today was important because I wanted to prove that I could have done this today to do this walk for all the people that helped me, the doctors, the nurses, everyone. And I recently lost my mom in May to cancer. So even though it wasn't breast cancer, today is for her also. <laughs> Andre here from Fet Masters representing Guyana. You know we must support the the, the females and you know breast cancer awareness and thing. Yeah. Tell them your name and thing. My name is Armani from Fat Masters so well, representing Jamaica. It's important to be here to support the cause because you know. A lot of people that's being affected by breast cancer, a lot of black women, and then a lot of research is not really being done. So all this money that's donating towards that, it's all for a good cause, and it's enough respect, man. Yo, my name is Damian. Damian, you here? You're from Guyana, Georgetown, you see me, you see me? Over in the Squibble side too. I had to come to this little cancer walk. My grandfather died of cancer, my grandmother, my auntie, everybody got cancer, you know? So this was very important for me, 2017 cancer walk, you hear me? I love it, I love it. Everybody appreciated everything, you hear? I am a cancer survivor, breast cancer survivor. I've been um, cancer free for three years and hopefully I'll be cancer free for a lot more. I'm walking because I got two survivors in the family. My niece and my sister. And I lost a good friend from the fight. Yeah, so my name is Junior George and um, it's, it's always important that we give back to our community. And, and you know, my dad died of cancer uh, when I was um, 21. So it's, it was very important that we put together a team that would give back to the cancer society because I believe that a life that as someone that dying from cancer right now, it, 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 if they had early checkups, that's possible that that life could be saved. So we just wanted to build the awareness, not only for women, but also for men, because a lot of men have a misconception that breast cancer is only a woman thing, but there's a lot of men that also die from breast cancer. There's colon cancer, there's so much different diseases that kill in our community today. And we need to check up on ourselves early. I know men are reluctant to go to the doctor or the hospital, but with early checkup, you know, you could be saved.
Come chat with me. Come chat with me.